Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I, I'm Larand and yes, it's a special day. It's the day when we're gonna show Kraken for the first time. Yes, <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for quite some time and it's finally here. We're gonna start by doing the quest line or there is some quest that needs to be done. I haven't done it, so I'm gonna do it here in this video. And I think we're gonna just get straight to the point and get going because uh, yeah, we will see how everything goes as we proceed so first of all we need to be in timeless tides obviously because this is where you can spawn kraken and if you are unsure how to get to this place i have a separate video covering that i can put it down in a link in the description down below but what you do to start everything you go over here to governor drake so we're gonna talk to governor drake so he apparently needs some help <laughs> yeah, so we need to put an end to this beast before it destroys the island. Basically, what we need to do is to find a key. That's what we need to do. So we have a special assignment. We get a new quest. Collect the Kraken key from an armored shark. So that's our task and that's what we're gonna do. If you are unsure about the armored shark, I also of course have a separate video covering those, but... What you need to know, especially when it comes to the armored sharks, is that you need to have an axe. So, that's what we're gonna look at. We're gonna use, in this case, I have the benefit of having the bounce blade because I have done that index reward. There is also a new axe, but we're gonna take a look at that in a separate video because this is all about the Kraken. So, we're gonna use the bounce blade, which has a damage of 1000 and allows you to hit three nearby creatures or targets. This bounce is sometimes less and sometimes more now for some reason, so I'm not really sure if that's intentional, but we're gonna equip it and we're gonna go out and chase some armored sharks and from my own experience uh, i think uh, i have found armored sharks more often to the east side i'm not sure if that's just a coincidence or not but this is usually where i go and hunt armored sharks so maybe that's like yeah, normal but i'm not sure you can of course find armored sharks on the west side as well but uh, i'm gonna stick to the east side for now the, here we at least have two armored sharks so we're gonna use the bounce blade actually it's three armored sharks that's perfect we're gonna need those and there we go three armored sharks are down and as you can see once you have received a key you need to place the key in the monolith so that's what we're gonna do right now and this will actually also spawn the kraken so once i do this we will be in a kraken battle but before we start this battle i changed to the spear the sunburst spear because it does more damage and spear works against kraken both spears and axes work against the kraken so that's good to know and what you have added also close to this monolith is actually a dock so you can spawn your boat down here which is just great I and mean, it makes sense because uh, once you have uh, put the key in the lock uh, well then you're directly into a battle So this is how the battle begins. You have eight tentacles that will attack you at the same time as you have to fight the Kraken. The tentacles themselves, they are vulnerable, so you can kill them one by one. But they will shoot ink on you. And each hit with ink, it does 60 damage. And it also creates this ink splash on the screen, which will reduce the visibility when you play, which is a cool effect i like it a lot after a while you will see it goes into this invulnerable mode so you need to kill some special tentacles that has spawned around in the world map you can see them in the distance as icons when this happens the tentacles and the kraken uh, will become white and you can only damage those that are dark those tentacles are vulnerable Keep in mind that you can also, of course, be attacked by regular sea creatures, which is, uh, well, it adds on to the difficulty, of course. 
and uh, it does require you most likely to repair a few times. Uh, so having a boat with a lot of hit points will help. And I do think actually the UFO in this situation can be quite useful because it has a lot of hit points. But uh, what you have to do now is to basically kill all these tentacles. And once you have done this, then the Kraken goes back to normal and becomes vulnerable again. But uh, it's important that you cooperate here to make uh, everything fast and smooth. So basically when you have these icons that you can see in the horizon, it's time to kill those tentacles as soon as possible. I'm not sure yet uh, how many tentacles that can spawn during these phases, but I believe it's at least four. It could be four, it could be maybe more, I'm not sure. Uh, it has uh, this invulnerable phase, it happens this... It happens two times basically. Uh, so this is the first round of uh, invulnerability. And now when we have killed all these remaining tentacles, it goes back to normal. And then uh, Kraken becomes vulnerable again. So then you can continue to hurt Kraken. Uh, so grab the opportunity to uh, do as much damage as possible, of course. And uh, with this group, we have pretty high damage and uh, it, he goes down pretty fast. Uh, in this video he has 100,000 hit points, which is just like Moby Wood, but uh, when you have powerful spears, well, then he actually goes down pretty fast. So, uh, I think, I'm not sure, but they might actually increase the health of Kraken, but we will see. I'm not sure, because this is a pretty powerful team that is actually fighting Kraken right now. So I think it's actually four tentacles for each invulnerability round. So in total, it's eight tentacles that will spawn, which would make sense because this Kraken boss uh, has eight tentacles. So uh, I would be surprised if it would be something else. But then we have the last phase, the vulnerability phase. You just, uh, all you have to do, I'm gonna go into the free camera just to show you what the battle looks like from a little bit of, from above. Kraken itself doesn't really feel that, uh, I would say, aggressive. He swims around, he does damage, but uh, nothing major, I would say. It's all these ink splashes that will wear you down. That's the biggest thing, I believe. And here we have some parts of the loot. That's a Kraken tooth. And first you also saw a Kraken head, so yeah, congratulations. So, once you have defeated Kraken, we go to Governor Drake. Here you can claim your reward, which is 15 shards, I believe. I can't do it right now because I have no real footage of that. But uh, yes, there you have it. That's the quest for the Kraken. Yes, and as for myself, I got myself a Kraken fin. It looks like this. But I also got a Kraken tentacle, which is, uh, I think it's epic. Yeah, so the Kraken tentacle is <laughs> yum. It's epic and uh, the Kraken fin is uncommon. All right. So yes, there you have it. That was the Kraken boss. I think we're gonna see a lot more from him in future videos. This was just... Uh... <laughs> oh my God. Take a look at him over there. That's a cheater right there. You see him? He's floating in midair. He's teleport hunting. Oh my god. What a way to end a video. <laughs> oh, well, he's gonna get reported. It's the wrong place to cheat. You don't belong here. I'm sorry. Go home. <laughs> okay. Well, regardless, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions and comments about this, please put them below. Like this video. If you would like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe. And yes, have a nice day. Bye, everyone.